the heart of cytology and the origin of cytology comes from cervical cancer screening that was devised by Dr. George Papanicolaou and the field has skyrocketed from that. The ability to look at stained cells under the microscope and find cancer and precancerous disease has been phenomenal. And many of the students who come into this program have had a friend or a relative who has had cancer and they feel true passion about helping with cancer diagnosis. I learned about the cytotechnology program by researching um, on the internet uh, a way to utilize my biology skills. I was originally pre-med and I feel like this program is one of the best in terms of uh, utilizing my knowledge of other things such as anatomy and physiology. I found out about the cytotechnology program when I was um, in my undergrad for forensic science originally uh, and I liked the laboratory aspect of the career um, but I wasn't really interested in the legal part and so I started asking some friends about other majors that they had considered and my friend showed me the pamphlet on the cytotechnology program and it, it looked really interesting to me. So I did research and I went to the website. It really intrigued me and so I went to my counselors and I, I switched my major. Most students that come into our program initially of course have an interest in science. Cytotechnology is more than a science, it's an art and a science. So we can spend a lot of time in the, in the classroom learning about how to diagnose cells, what they look like, but it's not until you apply it to the microscope that it really matters. So it's very much an art form. So, I'll, so we're a little different in that regard to other clinical lab science programs that we have that artistic. In fact, sometimes I'll tell students one of the best courses they can take as a prerequisite is art appreciation. We use the same technique to tell the difference between a cancer cell and a normal cell as you would between a Cezanne painting and, and one from uh, you know, Rembrandt. It's, it's about quality, texture, and color. I think a surprising aspect of the program for the students is that due to the affiliation with the IU School of Medicine, they have the opportunity to do lab rotations in the actual hospitals that the medical center is affiliated with. And they start early in the year, and that's an advantage to this program so that they are doing a true hybrid of clinical lab experience along with classroom learning. We are not just sitting screening all day. <laughs> um, we actually go out on procedures, we have patient contact, we do have some interaction uh, with you know, the physicians and that, I was not expecting that and I enjoy it actually. Going through these rotations throughout this whole year um, and also working as a pharmacist technician on the side, I believe my first year will be a great success from all the learning tools that I've received from my instructors. We've had the greatest from our students uh, in, all, in all types of employment situations. We've, had, we've got students today, for example, working at Mayo Clinic at Johns Hopkins, but Northwestern and the cytology laboratories there. And, what we find is that when our students leave here, what they want to do is make a difference in patients' lives. And by being out, being well trained from our program here, they, I think they should feel, and hopefully they feel well prepared to start day one, helping patients and doing something that matters. You know, we're not reading tests off of an instrument or reading data points off of some graph. We're actually making a diagnosis. Well, I just think it's great how many people we get to help. It's not so much the amount of work we do, it's not about the recognition, it's just about being able to help people behind the scenes and make sure the diagnosis gets out correctly. The small class sizes that we have are incredible for the student learning opportunities and it's really critical for their knowledge and their ability to interact with the cytotechnologists on clinical lab rotation so they can really excel at their skill when they graduate. Here at the IU School of Medicine for Cytotechnology, we have a small class size, eight max, and right now we have seven people in our class so we really get to interact with each other and we get to learn material in a different way. I definitely feel prepared for my career. I think it really helps that we are able to go on procedures during our rotations and um, we get hands-on experience, uh, smearing out slides, so we will be prepared by the time you know we're actually employed. We do a lot of let the student be the teacher sometimes and so everybody gets to be on the hot seat occasionally, present a case to one another and they often make lifelong friends in this program. 